All right. So we'll quickly move into the next um, stain in microbiology. This is what is known as a Grocourt metenamine stain. Grocourt metenamine stain. All right. So for this Grocourt metenamine stain, um, all right, Grocourt metenamine stain. Right, it's fully known as what? Grocourt gumori metenamine silver staining. It's still the same thing, you understand? So, all right, so it's just quite simple. So it's actually a stain. It's like a specialized stain, right? It's not something that you, you always see it around, okay? So it's like a specialized stain, right? Used primarily in histopathology. So the stain is particularly used for identifying fungi and some certain type of bacteria in tissue sections. Right. So what are the staining characteristics? Um, after you have done the staining, right? After you have done the staining, collection of the sample, fixing it, and all of that. Okay. After you have done it, uh, let me see. If you have fungal elements in the in the sample, they'll turn into black, right? Everything is black here is fungal, right? Then if you have a background tissue, if there's a background tissue there, it will be green. Everything you see green there is like the background tissue. The other structures that are some structures like mosaines can also take up stain. And they can appear in shades of gray to black. You can see some gray stuff. The fungi is black. The the background tissue is green. Any mucine or addition stuff will be gray. All right. So this group called metanamine stain is what highly sensitive, and it's often used to detect fungal infections, such as those that are caused by what aspergillus. Candida, like candidiasis, pneumocystis gerovici. All right, so I think this is this. All right, so this is it for growth of metanamine stain, just for you guys to identify all the different stains in microbiology.